What up, guys? Welcome to the first no heat call of the new year. It's currently the second. We got a pretty good setup here. Just a bunch of packaging sitting on the ground. Um, tenant's not here yet. I was told that someone replaced a heat exchanger and then they had no heat. And this happened prior to the holidays. And I think this is going to be my guy here. I don't feel like anything's running. And I can't get in the building yet. So let's start uh, just turning some panels off, see what we got. fairly normal in there the gas valves on I think I would have liked I would have done that a little different what we got there is that four five ignition lockout that it's cracked a little bit, but it ought to have ought to have gas. I think. Let's get that panel out of the way. <clears throat> My drill's dying. Ignition lockout. So we got a. problem the burners look okay I don't see anything that backsides lifted up you can see where they probably cranked down on the gas valve on the initial install but <clears throat> oh that looks all right so Let's uh, give it a reset and see what happens. Let's see what she does. They didn't change the gas valve, so. Fired. Let's get a 
tip we're at anyway. We've been running for a few minutes now. Let's see what our return area is. Find out about what the space jump is. We just walked around again. I, I don't think they get here till like nine, so. Uh, we'll give that a minute and then we'll get a temp rise on it. We're gonna check the gas pressure. Got my manometer ready there. Um, maybe it was just a fluke. I don't know. Everything looks okay. Um, I'm sure the gas pressure was never set. And hell, they probably didn't even clean the burners. So maybe it's burners and flame sensor probably need to be cleaned. So we'll probably do all that once I get a temp rise. Then we'll just start with all our basic stuff. And, see if we find anything but it looks like it's going to be all right so we're about 62 63 ish on the return and we'll get a supply and then look at the date of tag it's probably 35 to 65 or something it's gonna be on the other side that's ballpark what we're going to be looking for so we're about 115 uh, at 63 113 would have been 50 uh it's 25 to 65 is what the data plate shows the data plates on this side so it's kind of hard to get to but we're going to let it sit for a little bit we're going to be maybe on that top end but it looks okay uh, it tells me everything with the blower is okay <clears throat> And then we'll just do our basic stuff, pull and clean those burners, see if we can't get them aligned a little better. Most of the time you can't fix that being pulled up like that. Sometimes you can adjust your screws. They always seem to do that because nobody pays attention. They just crank down on their gas line, so... We're gonna let it run for a little bit. Just watch. 100 and about 118. All right, so we're sitting 100 and 122 from 62 would have been that 60 degree mark. So 65 is the max. Let's cut it off and check our gas pressure. They didn't change the gas valve. I was debating on whether I wanted to turn it off there or not. I don't want to go flipping an old switch on a gas valve because I don't need anything to go to hell quick. Of course, it could have been gas valve was the problem. It's hard to say. I can't imagine it would have lit for me three or four times like it did. Uh, so we'll let everything cool down. We're going to manometer hooked up and then kind of go from there. Check our spark out while it's retried. That's why I failed at night. Something not connected somewhere. I can hear it. You ought to be able to see that spark they had just pulled out too because the grommet's gone. Insulated screwdriver. So board's okay, we're sparking, we're just not getting down there. So let's, uh, we're letting it cool off anyways. It's getting ready to lock out. Let's figure out what the hell our problem there is. So I'm gonna get in there with my pad and clean those. They don't look awful, but um, this fell out. You can see where maybe they were fighting it and trying to push it back through this grommet because it's actually broke 
it's missing the other side um and i think they've just shoved the wire there's no wire in the end of that which would make sense on why it wasn't sparking or at least sparking all the time i mean it had to spark something because it lit for me but that we're probably gonna have to cut back and see if we can't find that wire it feels like it's bunched up inside there uh, the other thing i found i pulled these burners out in order and set them right there like i usually do so there the burners were in there like that and does anybody see the problem these are your crossover tubes here this one has to be on the end because it's crimped and it doesn't have a space for the flame to cross over this one cannot be right there because that flame won't get there so so what it looks like they did that was the bottom or that was what used to be the top because it's dirtier that looks nice and clean because it was probably on the bottom so they flipped them over to make them look nicer they look i mean they're rusted but they look like maybe they brushed them down or cleaned them up i don't see any major crap inside of them but if you're gonna flip them that's fine but your crimps have to be on either end because if that crimps in the middle or right here that flames are not gonna cross all the way over and hit your flame sensor so it looks like just um some dumb stuff let's uh get uh try to get this poured out i know they didn't check gas pressure because it's on this side the back side and we can't make a gas valve with an easy way to check gas pressure so we we'll have to get in there get that fix this fix our burners and i bet everything's all right now my next dilemma There ain't no wire in there. Cut a little bit at a time. Cause I can only cut so far and I'm not gonna be able to reach. So uh, I gotta find the wire or maybe have to go get another wire. You can see there's wire right there. I can feel it like it's, it's bent. And it's probably gonna be that far back I wonder if they didn't break it right there when they were messing with it I finally got to some wire I had to cut that much off it's like I'm still gonna have enough here I have to find a grommet or something to put in there but it looks okay looks like they just messed it up when they bunched it all up they were trying to they probably tried to shove it through that grommet or something you gotta pull those things out there they're made to fit tight but we got that problem solved all right so before we put burners back in let's see that spark that's the spark we're looking for i bet she's gonna fire now Get them burgers back in. This thing's gonna be alright. And looking at this again, they just flipped this one over. You can see those are, or maybe they flipped the middle. See that one's clean. Until we flip it like that, we've got crimped in, crimped in, and our flame will be able to flow through the crossover tips. So we're gonna get them in there like that and I bet this thing fires. One more try. Be normal although the uh temporize was okay 
but the two chucks that got everything else screwed up um, wasn't confident that they were gonna check it and maybe they didn't maybe it's just right but um, actually you see that's actually marked it's 3.2 so so it is overfired a little bit not by much watch this guy uh, run for a little bit I'm gonna get wire ties on here all the stuff that should have been done to take care of the small things little things go a long way stuff like that um, this needs a whole new stat wire run we're just gonna make some notes on everything but as far as the heat goes right now it's gonna be okay so happy 2024 guys I appreciate all y'all leave a trade better than you find it I'll see y'all next time. And always do your due diligence. That's my return now. It's uh, it's stagnant air in there. This isn't a great. This isn't a great setup. But I found a bunch of butterfly dampers. All of them were closed because they got hot and cold spots. The thermostats out in the main hallway, and they got offices on each side. I got my temp rise. I cracked. I opened all the main space dampers, butterfly dampers at the registers. So I got all of them open and then the offices I just cracked open a little bit. And I was running 122 on my supply, which is gonna put me about uh, 50 degrees instead of the 60, 60 to 65 that I was running. I still gotta go put this back, but don't, don't just run off and leave these things. If all of this was uh, not done by two chucks in a truck in the first place, we should, all this stuff should have been caught. None of this stuff should have happened. But uh, it, it is what it is. That's the game we play most of the time. Happy New Year, guys.